Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Bam, guess what I got? I got the rest of my uh, paint mask. Tail numbers, little rescue deals, Spunky 6. Well, them Spunkies must have been had bad luck. <laughs> More tail numbers part of that Spunky uh, Danger. Uh, Ain't no jet complete unless it's got some danger stickers on it. But uh, I got my stars and bars painted on. They all came out pretty good. Oh, come on, focus. Yeah, see, they all came out pretty good. A little bit of a rivet mark right there, but the red bled into a rivet. But after I get all these this painting done, we're going to weather it all up. I'm going to spray some black on it, and I'm going to sand it, and we're going to get it all weathered up and looking, looking like an old wore out F4. Okay, but I got to start off with some red. Do these spunky deals here, see what we're going off of. Oh, I got some teeth too, but I'm going to have to study on these for a minute. This is what we're doing right here on oh, Spunky Six. I'm not. I'm not going to do the stripes, but uh, there's the teeth, and we got that danger, then a rescue, and the danger stickers and the tail numbers. So that's kind of what I'm going off of. Dang it! I need a three thirteen on that. Gear door. Okay, so we gotta put them spunkies on there. And then we're getting red. We'll do the red first. The red on the danger. Now he needs to go be careful. These <coughs> have an up and a down. See, we don't want to do it like that, accidentally. See that little squared off one? That is the up side. The rounded one's down. Don't forget that. <laughs> I might not be saving any names, but I'll be pointing fingers. since 1968. <laughs> okay. Bam. Now we need some tape. Ah, it said 68. And look what that number is. <laughs> That's what that means. That's these numbers, it was made for the Air Force in 1968, 313th off the line. That's what that means for you guys that didn't know. Now you know. Now you know. For show. <laughs> okay. Now you know the rest 
to the store. Man, did I get a bunch of wood cut up, guys. <laughs> I cut a whole sheet of plywood up for A4 stuff and that whole drawer is full. That whole drawer oh, yeah, is full too, man. That was two days of hard old work. I was, uh, didn't have a couple patterns, had to make some patterns and routed it all. I got plenty of wood for a while now. Even, uh, got a set of wings glued together. Gonna be needing to pull them out pretty soon. Gotta go on there perfect. Okay, well, then you're watching that. They gotta go on there pretty much perfect. Sure. It looks terrible. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go lift this up. After I do the red, I'll put this one on. No, I put I do this one. Let me think here. I won't be able to line this one up. 
perfect. So I'll have to do the black outline next. Yeah, and then I'll put this over the top of the black outline. Because I won't be able to line this up good enough. So we'll do the black next. And then the white. Yep, that's what we're going to have to do. But in the meantime, i got to get these reds, so I'm going to get all my red done. Now, these are pretty close. To these openings. And the bad thing is, half of them is going to be on both sides, but oh well. shop though after I was done routing all that wood. Oh my goodness. There was router stuff just everywhere. Wood chain, router duck, whatever you want to call it. Stuff was everywhere, man.
って。Little stuff like this, guys. You know, you know. I just don't really. It's just as fast and easy. I'm using this wide tape because I got a whole bunch of it. I might have another roll of screws. Place to get this for three dollars a roll. Just take the magazine. Bam. Let's get rid of all them old magazines and uh, get them masking done too. Bam! Anyway, that's what I got going, guys. I'm going to get that mask off and I'm going to spray it red and I will be back. St. Bob time. St. Bob station. <laughs>